got your most playing time last season against an option offense. I mean, your thoughts on Walford heading into this week? Um, Walford, they execute the triple option very well. Um, and, you know, playing a decent bit against Georgia Tech, I feel like that uh, will help me a little bit as far as the experience with it. But um, just game planning and understanding where to be at the right time is going to be um, the most important thing, I think. What do they do different than Georgia Tech? How are they, how are they different? Um, there's a lot of similarities between the two. If I'd say um, something they do different would be uh, the pace. Your blocking, um, they pass that a, bit, a little bit more. Um, so, like I said, just game planning and understanding um, what to expect on what down and by formation. Uh, thing is critical. What's your scatter report on number seven? Back. Um, I mean, seems like a pretty good player. Um, I don't know, not, not much. It is it you know, Harrison's kind of off? And is he like an ACC running back? Is it just different level? Um, I mean, I never um, played Wofford, so I feel like that's something I'd have to experience to answer. But um, I mean, they execute the <coughs> option very well. Um, I've, we've seen them gash defenses for a lot of yards um, by not fitting the run fits correctly, so I feel like that's one of the important things. What's the key when facing an offense like this? Is it patience, using your eyes? Um, knowing your formations and uh, not getting cut. They like cut block a lot. And um, when you get cut and they get to the second level, then it's harder to recover from that. Do you face a lot of teams that cut block? Uh, no. I'd say Jordan Beck would probably be the only other team. A little, a little bit last year, so it's definitely Jordan Beck. Is it frustrating to play an offense like that, uh, keeping your assignment, and uh, have you fight the temptation to, to try to do too much? Yeah, um, that would just be in discipline. Um, a lot of times, uh, players are trying to make plays that aren't theirs to make, and they just have to trust their key and do their job and trust that the guy uh, next to you is going to do his and show up where he needs to be. Just kind of nitpicking what they do and comparing it to Georgia Tech, I feel like uh, it'll help in the long run. Is Walford because they're they're up under center more? Are they more of a true triple option than Georgia Tech? Absolutely. So on that, as a nickel Sam, what what are you trying to read on each play? Um, just my keys would go from as far as the tackle or um, the wing. Um, it's all based on formation, really. You know, different formations, I have different keys, and I have to trust those keys. And if I don't follow, follow them, then I um, might get out leveraged and you don't get out leveraged for a team like Walker. Does Kareem Wiggins continue to uh, mentor you and impart his wisdom when facing a team like this uh, since he has so much experience? Uh, not so much, just because um, this fall he had moved to uh, safety. He played uh, primarily, he'd been working at primarily safety. But uh, Travis Blanks with him coming back from the uh, ACL injury, him and I have been talking a lot and just forming a relationship and bond um, where you know, if I see something, I'll tell him. If he sees, sees, sees something, he'll tell me. And just having like a good chemistry at the same position, and especially him being a veteran and a freshman All-American, um, I have a lot of faith and trust in what he's telling me. Does Travis look like he's really left that finally put all those injuries behind him? Yeah, he looks well. He's moving well. Um, you can tell he's a lot more sure of himself in his knee. He's not really thinking about uh, his knee too much, and you can tell in his play. Have you, um, do you and him and, and, and I guess, uh, I guess Venables, do y'all have a very, kind of a good understanding of who's going to be playing when and in what situations? Um, yeah, I guess you can say that. Um, Coach Venables is very confident in uh, Travis and I because we both had um, very well fall camps, very good fall camps. And because of that, um, I don't think Venables has a problem with um, rotating both of us in any instance because he knows both of us can play and both of us know the game plan and 